So what's up people and welcome to the Mission 69 discussion of Spy Family. So Mission 69 came out yesterday and as always I will leave a link to this mission that's currently being shown on the publisher's official website Manga Plus for free to the North American audience. So if you're interested, yeah I could take a look at it before they pull this mission back. <laughs> now Mission 69 was hilarious. I haven't laughed so hard, even from a spy family mission, for a long time compared to this particular chapter. And what's interesting is if you look at the overall story that this chapter is opening, it doesn't look like a comedic story. It sounds like it's going to be one of those tense, action-packed stories once again. And yet this particular mission had me laughing so hard. <laughs> and so yeah mission 69 opens up a new story and we start out of all places at the Ostanian secret police headquarters and there they're talking about the resurgence of a extremist group called the red circus and their leader billy squire and from the conversation that we see this extremist group seemed to be very troublesome in the past but they went incognito for a while. Now they resurfaced again, and so this is causing significant concern within the Ostanian secret police. And so everything sounds like it's going to be tense. And so why am I saying that this was a hilarious chapter? Well, then we immediately cut away to Anya. <laughs> yes, Anya and her classmates going on the field trip. And this is very interesting because we see a lot of characters that we haven't seen for a while, such as Bill Watkins and George, if you remember, <laughs> George. <laughs> and so all these characters have now come together in a single bus and they're going to what it sounds like a museum. And so everybody's looking forward to it, with the exception of Damien, who I guess is too haughty to be excited over such childish things, <laughs> I guess. But what you also find is that Anya is once again trying to figure out her plan to become greater friends with Damien so that she can beat her mom and Melinda and their friendship. And so she decides that she will mimic the plan that Lloyd made successfully in the previous chapters where he was able to dupe his boss who was trying to accuse him of being a spy. And he used that against the boss to make the plan backfire and turn it against him. And so reading his mind and studying the plan, she came up with her own plan. <laughs> And so, of course, she's coming up with this plan where she's trying to make Damien do something and accuse her and then make it backfire. But since this is Anya, the only accusation that she could come up with is that Damien will accuse her of being a uggle. <laughs> and for some reason, in her world, uggle is considered an extreme felony in the school and potentially may become a reason for immediate expulsion. And so the teacher becomes extremely serious and asks Anya, are you really a uggo? <laughs> In which, of course, Anya answers, no, I'm totally adorable. And because this is Anya's world, not only does Becky agree, but the teacher goes, Yes, you are. You're extremely adorable. And in fact, the only Uggo character in this bus is you, Damien. <laughs> and of course, the teacher drags Damien away, or at least tries to, when Anya stops him. And I expected that something like this would happen, where Anya says, Damien is, of course, not a Uggo. But what made me laugh <laughs> is that she added, he's only just... A piece of crap <laughs> and so the teacher is like oh well that's okay <laughs> and walks away and of course Damien becomes extremely grateful of the heroic gesture that Anya did for him and so this is all playing out in her mind and so she of course tries to enact this crazy plan 
And the only way she could do it is to have Damien somehow accuse her of being a uggle. <laughs> so she throws a wad of paper at his head and when he turns around annoyed, this is what he's greeted with. <laughs> and this made me think. When we started this entire series, chapter one, we were greeted with this image of Anya. And this, of course, set the tone for all of what we felt about this character. And as you know from the animes and from the reactors, the reaction to the image was that she was extremely cute. And of course, 68 chapters later, we find this to be the corresponding face that we are rewarded with for our commitment to continue reading this comic. <laughs> and I have to say, good job, Tatsuya Endo, because I had a seriously good laugh from this. But Damien didn't think it was funny, and in fact, he was so annoyed that he immediately fired back a wad of paper at <laughs> Anya's face, and Anya immediately realized that her plan had failed. Yeah, no kidding, Anya. And so now, not only is Damien not a friend of Anya's, but once again, he is extremely annoyed at her. And by this story alone, this made the reading of chapter 69 extremely worthwhile. But once again, I did say that this was the start of something that looked extremely tense, and that is because the bus gets hijacked by the Red Circus faction, and Billy Squire boards the bus and tells the children that they are prisoners of this faction. And so once again, Anya is in trouble. Anya gets into trouble quite a bit. But in this particular instance, I don't think it's Anya that brought about the trouble. I think the Red Circus knew that this bus was full of children from very influential families, including the son of Donovan Desmond. And considering the fact that Damien is together with Anya and all the other kids, I got a feeling that this particular story will revolve around how these kids will somehow find a way to overcome the Red Circus. But in the meantime, if you recall in the very beginning of this chapter, it was the Ostanian secret police that were going after the Red Circus, which indicates that there is a good possibility that eventually Yuri, of all people, may come towards the rescue. But on the other hand, you know who Yuri's big sister is, and considering the fact that Yuri may eventually find out that it is Anya's bus that got hijacked, Yor may be informed of this situation. And if Yor gets informed of this situation, <laughs> I pity Billy Squire and all of the Red Circus because they will become fodder for this particular story. And so it'll be interesting to see how Tatsuya Endo moves this forward. There are many avenues that he can do. And he often does things that are not quite what we expect, at least what I expect. And so it will be very interesting to find out exactly what happens throughout the story. But I am looking forward to yet another action-packed tense story that may eventually bring Anya and Damien even closer in the most awkward friendship that has occurred in manga for a very long time. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in Mission 70. And once that comes out, I'll bring out another video. I hope you join me at that time. But this is the Mission 69 discussion of Spy Family. If you read it, what you think about it, any comments will be greatly appreciated. And thank you very much for watching this video. Until the next episode, happy manga reading. And as always, Jaya nice day, everyone.